أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله محمد. So today I want to describe a proposal to save the Mandaean culture and religion and tradition. So briefly, um, because this this videos address mainly to Mandaeans themselves, uh, just briefly to describe their own their plight, which they're well they're experiencing and suffering through, so are well informed about, is that they've basically been forced out of their homeland due to geopolitical circumstances and persecution, unfortunately, by Muslims uh, who don't understand them to be ahl kitab Surprisingly, the Iranian government doesn't recognize them even as uh, ahl kitab Anyways, so they've been forced away. They're in diaspora all over the world. And because they're not in one place and because their religion requires running water, uh, not every single community has sufficient number of priests and knowledgeable people. And so all of a sudden, this small community of people that's been persecuted for generations is now in diaspora. And there's a danger. There's not enough. There's a danger that they might cease to exist or the culture might die out and be assimilated. The people might be assimilated wherever they are because they don't have really what they need to continue the tradition. Now, this is the oldest monotheistic religion in the world. Anyways, so my proposal to the Mandaeans, or my advice to the Mandaeans, my Mandaean friends, is you guys should move to Armenia. Now, let me tell you why Armenia. First off, there's a legend that you came from a mountain to the north. So if you look at a map, the border between Iraq and Iran by the by the sea where where you guys are from by the Indian Ocean which is your homeland for the last few hundred years directly to the north is Armenia I believe you guys are the people of Noah Mount Ararat in or Mount Judy whichever one it is that's the Muslim pick this is the Christian pick Mount Ararat or Mount Judy whichever one it is or in that area is where you originally came from after the flood of Nuh. So that is your homeland, or your homeland is in that direction anyways. Second, Armenia has a plenitude of rivers. The people are very loving and accepting. And if we do a good job of communicating that you are literally the religion of Noah, I believe you will find acceptance there. Even as a Muslim, I found acceptance in Armenia. They're very loving and accepting people. They're very kind, but I would really say loving. They're loving people. The third practical reason, the third practical reason why I think you guys should move to Armenia is with an investment of $20,000 if you buy $20,000 worth of land or property or a building, and all of that is really cheap in Armenia, you could probably buy a decent house for like seven or eight people with that in one of the smaller villages or cities. Construction is surprisingly cheap. You could buy something for $20,000, and if you bought something for $20,000, then you would gain the right to hire people from anywhere in the whole world to come and work there for you. So, for example, if you bought, and Armenia isn't strict on whether you're going to make profits or whatnot. It's not a very strict place in this regard. It's very open, kind, loving. Even the government is pretty open. You will gain the right. So say you bought uh, $20,000 worth of land or a $20,000 building in one of the villages and you said that our business, our nonprofit, our business is that we're going to teach Sabian tradition and Sabian religion 
to anyone who comes and visits us. And in exchange, we might take a fee or something, you know. Anyone who's interested from the entire world can come. And you can set up like a comp compound. You know, maybe one family who has the money can go up and the second family can go up. And then you can start g gathering in Armenia. So what will happen is, if you do that, you start teaching, then those people who are qualified to teach the language of your scripture, the books itself, the traditions, the, the rituals, everyone who's qualified to do that, even in the smallest degree, plus their families, are now welcome to migrate to Armenia. And you, as the whoever one of you opens the original company, has the right to invite basically anyone who's going to be actively working in that project. So there's finer details to work out, but it's a really good option because it's only $20,000. I know you guys are in a difficult kind of position and a difficult, you're dealing with some difficulties. Um, so uh, you moving somewhere expensive and trying to, you know, preserve everything is difficult, but Armenia is so cheap. Armenia is, is and it's only $20,000. I'm sure if four or five of your families got together, you could come up with $20,000 and you could start moving up one by one. And whether your business is successful or not, you'll have a place to live. The house can be a place to live, like a, the place to live could be the place of business. And there's a special, like there's, that's actually a tax incentivized setup in the Armenian government. Anyways, I don't want to get too much into detail, but there's a lot of benefits. It can be the place that you guys are saved. It, it, it You should gather there. You should migrate from there. I think it's closer to your original homeland anyways. It's closer to where Noah's Ark landed. And practically, it's cheap. It's affordable. And it you can all gather that the my immigration policy is such that you could all gradually gather back there. And you guys need the numbers and you need rivers. You know, you need rivers and you need the numbers to preserve your culture. So anyways, I don't want to make this video too long. So that's kind of an overview of what I'm proposing. Um, I want to work for this too. Like I, I, I want the, I believe you will be preserved until the day of judgment or close to the day of judgment. So as a Muslim, you got to think from my perspective, I really want you guys preserved because you guys are a symbol. You're the actual living people of Noah. So you're like a living symbol that the, the Quranic narrative or the biblical narrative about human history is actually true because you guys are, you know, the Jews might be three or 4,000 years old. You guys are like six or 7,000 years old or 8,000. Who knows? You guys are a very ancient religion, you know? And so, of course, I want you preserved, but I believe God will preserve you. Um, so don't worry. And I just want you to... I just want you to know that this is something I'm working for. But even if it's just us, even if we could pull our resources and we didn't get outside funding, $20,000 is pretty affordable to get this started, to build a safe house where you guys can migrate and start teaching your culture to other people. Because you guys are a very small number of people. So I think an important part of preserving your culture and your tribes and your nation and your religion is now start to teach it to other people. I don't know if you if you propagate religion or you call people or you try to convert people, but uh, if you if you haven't in the past, this might be a good time to do it because you need to be uh, raising awareness of yourself in culture. Otherwise, you know the tides are going to wash over you. So, anyways, this video is getting long. Please forgive me. I uh, hope this was beneficial. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, you know, and I'd love to hear from my Mandian friends. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.